Hi, I'm Nay from Nay Nay Makes and for this tutorial I will be demonstrating on how to make crocheted cables. For this tutorial only, I will only be working one of the cable crochets. But this sample piece here, I have designed to put four of them separated by panels. And you can work out how many stitches you want in between each one how many front post panels you want to put between or if you want to put any at all. So you can really work out a gorgeous pattern using these cable crochets. But for this demo, I will only be working the one. Each, each of these cable crochets have trebles and there are three on one side, three on the other. So each panel will cover six stitches. So you can count as many either side, how many front posts, to work out exactly how many you need for your chain. For this demonstration, I will be working up 16 posts in a row. So that is a chain of 18 with a turning chain of three. So if you work up, if you're following this tutorial and you want to work along with me, work up 18 chain, work a first treble into the fourth chain down from your hook, create one treble and then treble into the rest of the 14 all the way down to the end. I'm using a six millimetre hook and shrunk chunky yarn today just for this demonstration. And I work in UK terms. If you want to pause at any stage, as I've already done my foundation row and my trebles, so that you can catch up. For row two, chain three and turn. Now over the next one, two, three, four trebles, that will be our first side post before our cable. So in this next stitch, work one treble. And for this next stitch, I'm adding a post, which is a back post, so that we have one of these back posts either side of the cable just for the sample piece. So for a back post if you go between the two posts and come out and then go around and back out the other side this will bring the post to the back. Yarn over and bring the yarn through and create the treble. Give it a wiggle up to the top so that it straightens. And then for the next two stitches, add a treble in each. And there we are. That's our first side post before the cable done. Now for the next six stitches, we're going to do the same as we did for this back post here. So go between and lift up. Make a back post, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's six back post trebles. And then we have our last five stitches, which is our next panel for the side. So next two stitches work 
a treble into the tops of each. The next post we will do another back post. And for the last two trebles into the top of the third chain up, a treble. There we go. That is row two complete. And you can kind of see where one post sticks out there. Our six posts stick out there and our side panel sticks out there. For row three, this is where we have to add the twist in. So chain three, work our side post, one treble, and then for this sticky out post, we will work a front post by going behind the post, yarning over, and work a treble. And then another two trebles. And I've worked a hair in. Lovely. <laughs> there we go. There's our side panel done. And next for our six front posts, we will be working in the last three of them. So skip the first three and work into the front posts of the last three. So I call these ones four, five and six. So for a double treble yarn over twice and then five, find number four and work a front post by going behind the post and working a double treble. So through two, through two, and through two. Makes him extra long, that one. And the same again, yarn over twice, go into number five, behind the post. So front post, double treble, number five stitch. And again, yarn over twice, front post number six, and double treble. Next, we will work into the three that we skipped. The first one we will work into is number one, then number two, and then number three. But we want this part of the stitches, this row here, which I'll show you on the pattern. This follows up all the way. So we need to go behind the three that we've already worked. And the easiest way to do this is to yarn over twice and move it all forwards so that you have the three behind. Now normally I like to find it first with my hook, so go behind, see there there's the post that we're going around. If you go around it first and then bring it forwards so that you're working behind, yarn over, hold it out of the way so that you can work a bit easier because it is so easy to attach it to the wrong one and work up the double treble. So through two, through two, through two. Let's try that one again. So bring it up so that you can see the front. Where did it go? There it is. Yarn over twice. Pull it all apart so that you can find the three that you're working into. That's the second one there. So we've done the first one. There's our second one. Yarning over twice, go behind so that you can bring your hook through and scoop it up so it's a front post and then switch it back again so that you can see behind. Yarn over, bring the loop through, one, two, three, four, go through two, 
go through two, go through two. That's those two done. Last one's always the trickiest because it's in the smallest part to get into. So you yarn over twice, bring your hook down through the back, scoop it up and then bring this round forward so that you can see what you're doing. See, I've gone through the actual stitch as well. I need to do the post, so I need to go underneath that extra piece there, otherwise it's the stitch. So through the post, yarn over, bring through, one, two, three, four, go through two, go through two, go through two. And there we go, that's our first twist in the cable. I've done a few before, in fact the piece of sample piece I have over there where I've gone through those and couldn't figure out why I had the correct number of stitches, but why did I only have two posts? It's because I'd put all three of them through the first post. So it's really, really easy to get a bit muddled up. But once you've done quite a few of them, it starts to work out an easier way that you can suss out for yourself, which is easiest for you. But that's how I like to do those two. Right, let's carry on. We need to close up over this end here. So a treble into the next stitch. So if we find where this one finishes, and you can see along the top here, our next one is here. So don't try and stick it into the first one because we're already, if you find the, the last post that you've done on number six here, and cover it up so that you don't end up with too many stitches at the end. So it's easy to go straight into that one. So treble into this one here. And then treble into the next one. And then front post our panel on the side here. And then treble into the last two. Top of our chain three. There we go, that's our side panel done. So there's the first part of our twist done, both sides. Chain three for row four. Turn our work. Treble. And for this back post for this one. Get some more yarn. And then treble for the next two. And here we are, we're faced with the back view of our twist. It looks a mess, it's a bit confusing, but if we turn it over and look at it from the top view, find the middle between the three and then the three at the front, and if you straighten it out, you can see in a row the six stitches that we have along the top here. So that kind of makes it a little bit easier to work out, so you can cut, fit a digit through. And we have three here and three here. Now the first ones we're working in are these three here at the back. So we find the first one here, yarn over, go through between the posts and make a back post treble. And then find the next one, because it's so easy to grab the wrong one and we'll start working into those. So we don't do those ones yet until we've done these three back first. So if you follow this nice snake pattern on the top to work out which ones are next. So that one next, back post, treble, and again split them up, make sure you've got the right ones. That one next, back post, treble. Right, 
right for the next three are the ones at the front here. Find the next one which is there. Let's finish off this one first. And we do a back post for the next three. So that one there. And then the next one is there. Back post treble. And finally, the last one, can you see it through there? Is there. So back post treble into the last of the six along. And that kind of, if you give it a good pull them up a bit more, snuggle them up, you can kind of see the six that we've worked. The next posts are quite easy to see this way around because you're not going to work into this one here. The next one is here, treble. And the next one, treble. And the next one is a back post again. And the next two are trebles. So you can obviously work out, that's my stomach if you can hear that, it's lunchtime. That's the side panel done. So there, there we go, that's the back view. So the front view looks like that. So we have a row of six trebles along the top, a row that is a twist, and two rows of trebles at the bottom. So we just need to add a row of trebles all the way along for this next row. So chain three, and work our trebles. There's one, and then a front post on that one there, because you can obviously work out now that these are predominance of the others. So work a front post treble. If I'm going too fast as well, we can pause, catch up and play again. So treble the next two. And then for the next six for this cable, we can front post them like this. One, two, three, and these three behind, four, five, and six of the cable. There we go. And then finish off our side with one. I've got very, as you can see, it's gone tight. My yarn means it's stuck. Anyone else get this, what we call yarn bath? Look at that, yarn bath. <laughs> Lovely term. Anyway, front post, the next one. And treble, the last two, into the chain three. There we go. That's row four done. Looks so lovely in this chunky as well. There we go, there's our cable twist done. Now for our next row, chain three, this will be our twist from the back. So it's going to be slightly different to the twist at the front because we now have to do it backwards. So if you've noticed, it's a kind of repeat of six rows. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then number six, and then we start again. So it's a repeat of six rows. So again, treble, back post, our posts, treble, treble, And there we are, our six.
six cable posts. We're going to do the same again because we want to follow our stream up so that it flows in like an S shape all the way up. We have to find our last three. So three, four, five and six at the end here. There's our first three and there's our last three. We're going to do the same again. Yarn over twice. So we're going to do a back post double treble. One, two, three. Yarn over twice. Find our number five post and make a back post double treble. Yarn over twice, find number six and make a back post double treble. We'll do that one again, yeah? Yarn over twice, find number six, back post double treble. There we go. That's our first three of the twist done. Now for our first three, we yarn over twice, but instead of going behind it, we go in front of the twist. And then we find our first number one in the sequence and we back post it by bringing it up into the middle of our twist, holding it in place, yarn over and bring through and through. There we go, there's our first one done. It is quite tricky to get it in a motion, but once you work out how to get between them, it starts to get a bit easier, but it took me quite a while to work it out and I would suggest using Chunky because it is a lot easier to work out where everything slips through. So yarn over twice again and find our second in our three here. Go through the middle and then through the middle of the posts to make a back post. Bring it up through the middle again so that you've got the post on your hook here like you do when you do the back posts on these. We've got our back post here but we're in between the three that we've already made and the three that we're making. So we've come up between the three, yarn over and then bring it through so you're going through the post and up. There we go, four loops on our hook, yarn over, go through two, go through two and go through two. Last one to do is number three look in the middle, right there. Yarn over twice, go through the middle and then through between the two posts, round the other side, bring it up through, yarn over, bring our loop through again and up, yarn over twice, make our double treble back post. There we go. So we've made three if we straighten it out, we have three back post double trebles on one, two and three. Three back posts double trebles on four, five and six. It will all work out in the end. But you can see the snake running along the top here. So then we join this end to our side panel by making our treble into the next stitch, one, two, and then our back post, one, and then one, two to finish off into the top of the chain three to end the row. And that is row six. So if we turn our work, we can see the start of the next twist here. So it follows in an S shape. 
now for my final row for the demonstration. Chain three. This will be row seven, just to show you. This will be the first row here. So start the repeat of six rows again. This is row seven. One treble. Front post. One. And another two trebles. And then we come across our six in our twist. So what was that way round is now this way round. So these three at the back here are our next stitches. So it's obviously where this one joins to this one here. So if we find that one and do a front post treble, find the second one that's behind the back here. These three at the back, these are the ones that we're working our front posts on now. Front post treble. And the third one, front post treble. And then the next three that are at the front here, front post treble these three. So one. Two, three, whoops, through the post, not the stitch. So easy to go up through the post in the middle rather than the actual post. And there we go. Finish off the row with treble, another treble, a front post treble. Another treble, and lastly into the top of the chain three, another treble. And there we are, there is our twist. So the next row would be to make back posts all the way along, like we did for down here, this one here. And then you completely repeat the six over and over and over again until you have a long snake. And there we go. That is how we make a cable in crochet. So you obviously you can add this to any project you like. And you can add as many front posts as you like. As many gaps as you like in the middle. To work out and determine how long you want your chains to work out for each project. And you can create beautiful garments for hats, for pillowcases look really nice with um, cables, jumpers, blankets. And in my case, this is a clutch purse, which I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram, whether this is where you've come from when you find my YouTube ch channels. This is going to be attached to a clutch handle. I just need to make one more panel and then I will be demonstrating how to attach it to the clasp handle. But that will be another tutorial. So I hope this has helped you out. I hope this has um, worked out for you and you've understood. Please give me a thumbs up if you have or leave me a comment if there's anything you can suggest that I miss out on my tutorials or anything I could improve on. But I'd love a thumbs up. I'd love you to subscribe. Let me know how I got on and thanks for watching.